tired of that old uh, 15 engine. It's gonna sit there for a while. Not gonna use it until then. Gonna upgrade it to this one. I just bought a brand new Savage mount, engine mount, and uh, a couple of stuff for it. Going to uh, see if I could uh, get the clutch belt to fit on there. Because that's right now. It's just partly fitting on there to test. And as you see, sticking out a little bit, which is not good. And I can't put ball bearings in there. But I'm uh, going to drill my chassis for the four holes and fit it on there. The throttle setup will be easy because I already have a throttle uh, kit for this right here. It's going to go here for throttle and this is going to be the brake. So yeah, it's going to be another update when I'm finished working on this because it's not that hard of a setup. Well, the conversion is complete. All I really did was drill holes in the uh, chassis and that's about it. Everything is stock. I haven't modified anything else. All I did was cut the hole for the engine uh, heatsink to fit through. But, yeah, set up the radio, throttle and everything have to put the carb on the side because it didn't fit that well here's a throttle setup full throttle brake push this on this arm so the disc brake will engage so brakes and throttle work properly now. Uh, the other modific the other thing I did was uh, transfer the shock from this side to this side, as you see. Didn't make no difference at all. HPI Savage mount. Uh, I didn't get a bigger coupling because that was like seven bucks. So I found one in the bin. Uh, got it for about 50 cents. Also a spring. Uh, the manifold I bought for six bucks. Uh, this is the pipe I had for a while now. On my Savage. I used the original uh, clutch bell. And uh, it has roller bearings. So I don't know how that's going to work. How long it's going to last before it wears out. The flywheel is kind of small but it's made for uh, uh, big engines so made for big blocks so that will work and that's about it good thing I have a big fuel tank too because this engine is going to eat a lot drink a lot of gas after I try tuning it uh, put the radio up there like usual I got a hump pack so that's a big improvement very powerful Futaba servos good stock servos and that's about it it's gonna be a while until I get a running video cause no one will help me film unless my friend comes and helps me but yeah, won't be running that piece of shit anymore. Stupid batteries keep dying too fast. I think because they're cold, they don't work well. But I think I'll make a startup video and drive it a bit 